Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, my name is games for cakes and welcome back with another stream tonight, unexpectedly, so I didn't know what to stream because everything was kind of planned for different days, so I'm currently on a Destiny 2 boss and I was trying to get into it, I played a couple of hours on a test character and thought, you know what, might as well have a bit of fun. Um, it was either no stream tonight or uh, after State of Decay or we're gonna have a little bit of fun with what I would have played anyway now. So I would have spent the rest of the night um, playing this anyway. So um, might as well. And it is technically the first time because I have no clue what's going on. I kind of did a bit of research. So I, I know that from what I understand, let me see, I can move that over here so you guys can see it as well. Um, I kind of understand, I don't know if you can actually see that, that we have the Red War, which is vaulted, which I believe means it doesn't exist anymore. You can't play through that campaign anymore. You can't play through Curse of Osiris. You can't play through Warmight or the Forsaken. But you can play through Shadowkeep, Beyond Light, and the Witch Queen, and of course Lightfall. Now, I bought all of this in a pack. I got this all at a heavy discount on one of the sites that are uh, um, uh, selling right now at, I think, 55% discount, everything. So that I got the these expansions and I got Lightfall. Um, a total, in total, I got it for like 30 quid or something like So it was very good. And um, I decided to just go for it. It is a bit confusing because it bombards you with a lot of things. So I had to do some research as well to uh, make sure that... <coughs> that I don't get lost. It's very easy to get sidetracked in this game, absolutely. And that's, I suppose, a good thing because everything you do helps you level up. Now, this character here, I will delete. Absolutely, I'm. Uh, that was my test character. So I'm gonna go with the Hunter, which I believe is a class cannon, which is exactly what I enjoy the most in general. That's why, hence the image on the episode is a Hunter. Um, so, I'm not sure what I want to do. I like the kind of, I, I like the idea of an assassin just being like an android, you know, we could name him Data, something like that. Um, I'm not really sure. Otherwise, I would go with a human. Usually my the human face that I kind of ended up with that I liked was face three. I think it was face three. And, you know, standard hair, that would look really good. But you most of the time have a mask on anyway. So I think having, um, this guy would probably be fun as well. So let's see, what do we have? Different faces? That looks actually pretty badass, evil. It reminds me a little bit of when you look at the undead in World of Warcraft, uh, in that image where the face is like, the, the skin is torn off. It looks exactly like that. So, um... This one looks kind of nice. I'm going by the image because I can't really see the color differences. Oh, we can actually set the color, can we? Oh, look at that. So if we set that and then, oh, the lights. Oh, look at that. We can change the lights. And then the eyes can be... That is actually pretty cool. I haven't played around with the, uh, with the uh, ro robot before on the design. So at least now we can see the proper coloration. This looks kind of smooth. Yeah, there's no eyes here. That's very confusing. <laughs> I need to to be able to relate. Okay, there we have a big head. And then, yeah. I think the, yeah, this one kind of looks really nice. I like this one with this little mustache here. So make it, oh, that's a nice dark blue. I like that. It's a pity we can't make the secondary color different. Can we? Oh, head feature color. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, that's just the one thing. Okay, yeah. So we don't actually have to have that, I believe. So does he actually have eyes? Is that a thing? Let me see. Hide feature, no feature. No, he doesn't have any eyes. That's terrible. Why does he not have eyes? That looks like Hellraiser. <laughs> like he's coming from a massage parlor for androids. <laughs> head massage. Jeez, there's like damage to the head. That looks actually pretty badass. Or the antenna, the, the 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 speed antennas. Nice golden. That's nice. I like the white though and the bright blue. I'm gonna go with the bright blue. That's actually lovely. 
Oh, so this one has a white headpiece? So some of them are like dual colors, is it? Interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the blue. End of story. That's my favorite color. And I'm gonna go, actually, I'm gonna go with this. This looks pretty nice. I like that. Okay, let's go. And um, this one here will be blue as well. Same blue. And then the markings, we don't need any markings. Yeah, I don't think we need anything. A stripe down the middle. Actually, that looks nice. Speed racers, speed stripe. Let's go. It's a face, it's a robot. So now this guy here, I'm just gonna F it, okay? Oh, boom, gone. I was just messing around with that. I don't even know if I found anything there that's amazingly well done. So uh, all the resources, whatever, gone, I don't care. So let's go. Let's start it off properly. So this confused the hell out of me because I played Destiny 1 um, on the PS5, the trial version, and that has exactly the same beginning. And I was like, huh? So I was thinking, why would I pay 60 quid on a PlayStation 5 to play Destiny 1 if that is the same game? But I think it's only the opening scene in Destiny 2 that's kind of copying Destiny 1, so you know what it's about. The music is perfect. The, the gunplay is awesome, like you said, as I mean, it's, it's, it's beautiful. I think Azamain has a, a lot of games, it has a very good taste in games. Some games I wouldn't play, but I would watch them. But I think Azamain, you have a great taste in games. We're on Mars, are we? Is that Mars? Hey, look, we're the first. Its arrival changed us forever. Great cities were built on Mars and Venus. Mercury became a garden world. <laughs> Human insane. lifespan tripled. It was a time of miracles. We stared out at the galaxy and knew that it was our destiny to walk in the light of other stars. But the Traveler had an enemy. A darkness which had hunted it for eons across the black gulfs of space. You can see the frame rate actually above my head. It's only began. 24 frames. This darkness found us. The cinematics. And that was the end of everything. But it was also a beginning. Guardian? Eyes up, Guardian. It worked. You're alive. You don't know how long I've been looking for you. I'm a ghost. Actually, now I'm your ghost. And you? Well, you've been dead a long time. So you're going to see a lot of things you won't understand. It's a great way to start the day. 
Every morning I feel like I was dead for a long time. <laughs> we aren't safe here. I have to get you to the city. I can totally relate. Hold still. Don't worry, I'm still with you. We need to move fast. Okay. We need to move fast. Now. Beautiful. Let me go into the menu here for a second and make sure that we are at... This place is an old cosmodrome, a Russian spaceport. It's quarantined off, now 105. and quite yeah. dangerous, but okay. our only way forward is through that wall. Now, I already did all the setup, yeah, so I did a lot of reading up on, on this, and um, so I did change all the settings that I preferred. I put in Protonopia on the colorblind mode. I turned all the aim assist off. I did all the ADS sensitive modifier. I put it to 1.0 instead of 0 0.5. So I did all that hullabaloo, turning off all the motion blur, all that stuff. I like the FPS on. It kind of helps me out sometimes, you know, like knowing if something's actually wrong or if it's just the way the game is. Um, change character. Okay, anyway, so um, yeah, so I've done a lot and I'm trying my best to be not a complete FPS noob. Like I'm not trying to look constantly on the ground. That's what would happen with a controller to me. So I'm trying to like, you know, pay attention and see what's going on. That is when you start a new character, that's right. Um, and I do. I don't know if I get actually anything. I think all the characters start at um, uh, sixteen hundred power these days, uh, because that's a season thing. I believe every season they have like a, a baseline power or something. So if you have absolute shitty gear, this is the lowest you can get. Now, uh, people who played this game since day one, uh, I saw videos on it. It's actually very funny. They kept the initial power gear. So the lowest I've seen is somebody play with power five. And they actually joined PvP then. It was so funny to watch. It's great videos. Anyway, so this is the lowest power that you can get right now. And that is what you start with. So that they have this thing here, which actually is something that I haven't seen before. So you can see I've played some of it. Um, the Vanga complete the New Light Quest, The Guardian Rises. Um, I don't know if this is reset every time and that's just where we are at right now. I have no idea. But um, I think this is account wide, so I can't really change that. Um, because I played with my other guy um, for, well, the last two days trying to get used to the game. So, but this is my first um, proper, you know, uh, trial. So seasonal artifact, artifact power bonus. Oh, okay, let's go. So I think this is a count white per season. So you don't really get that reset um, unless you change completely the account that you have connected to Steam. Um, and this apparently is very good. It helps you out what you're supposed to do. So and we have some of these triumphs here as well. Um, I think, let me see here. Let me just get rid of them. I don't like things blinking. Um, yeah, so they are count white, so I couldn't really undo them or reset them or anything. Okay. And what I really like about this game, and this is something if you don't if you don't know Destiny like I don't, yeah, and it's only something I figured out today. I didn't know that you actually can extract weapons that you found before. That is so amazing. Like sometimes, if so, what I the way I understand it, if you come across a weapon that you found and that was actually really good, and you ended up destroying it because you didn't really know, and you find out later, oh, this weapon was really good. It had a lot of good mods on it or whatever, uh, or perks on it, whatever you call it, like you know, like rapid fire frame, whatever. You can actually extract this now for the in-game currency that you earn when you play the game, and you can play with the gun again. That is amazing. I find this so cool. And the same with armor, like this, this is a really, really awesome um, thing. Um, swap your guns with Destiny 2 up to, to help increase your light level city. faster. Oh, I'm not Do even going to start doing that yet. Ship. So that's all. But first, uh, I appreciate I all these tips weapon. and everything. But, uh, Let's keep moving. I, I know there's all these websites you can go to, uh, Destiny. Uh, DM, DCM, whatever it's called, uh, where you can do that. I but I don't even know about gear properly yet. Um, so I don't even know what's good, what's bad. Um, I think Careful. the I, oh, all around us. I think the color of the shield of an enemy can give away what he's sensitive to or something. It's I still have to learn all that. I'll get us more light. So I only did some basic homework. Art really. Military system check. Frayed wires and rust check. 
When I flip this switch, expect trouble. Not good. They're definitely not happy to see us. There's a rifle. Grab it. Okay, reloading after every shot. I brought Watch. You back for a reason, Guardian. <laughs> you're a hunter. That means you're not afraid to take risks. So keep moving and be ready for a fight. Stay focused. If your tracker blinks, there's trouble nearby. Gunplay in it is the so satisfying. Oh, beautiful. Alien pirates picking at humanity's remains. Speaking of pirates, there's a loot cache. Let's take what's inside. So, do I keep all my um, glimmer and all that across the accounts? Like, so if I look at, I mean, the season obviously is like that's a account wide thing. But if I go into, oh, I keep all the glamour and everything. Okay. Bright dust. Okay, fair enough. So I can't re-earn some of those rewards because I think I wasted some of the things that I found just by accident. It's actually funny. I, I earned a silver. I didn't know what it does. And I clicked on something to read it. And all of a sudden, I spent it. And I'm like, okay, that sucks. So a lot of these things, I don't even know what they're there for yet. Um, yeah, so I have some these base materials from the character I playtested this with. Fallen. Hit him with everything you've got. Your light is strong, Guardian. Wow, this is like Overwatch, like or whatever. This this uh, character with the with the pistols, like holy shit, it's amazing. Yeah, I played the my first character that I played here to try this game out was um, the Guardian Titan. I don't know Titan, whatever it was. Yeah. Keep pushing forward. I'll locate a ship we can use to fly home. Oh, I, I, I must have, uh, I think you get, I got one silver or something for free, or whatever I got, I don't know, I spent it accidentally. This is actually awesome, like, I, I have to say, out of all the games that, that I played, MMOs and all that, this is one of my favorite kind of starts to get you into an area where there's so much happening, you see the first time the other players, you see like some big ass kahuna boss thing in the middle, and you get your first kind of reward. It's, um... It's really well done. It's, it's so much fun. This guy here, wow. Keep fighting. I'm scanning for nearby ships. Oh, I already died. Awesome. You're doing great. <laughs> you're doing great. I just died and he goes, you're doing great. You're doing great. What is my special? Oh, it's like a... Okay. No shit. I'm detecting a friendly signal nearby. They may be able to help. I repeat, this is Shaw Han. My vanguard operation is compromised. I'm separated from my strike team. Vanguard? They're from the last city. Shaw, where are you? We can help. Cass, Maeve. 
If you're hearing this, rendezvous at the following coordinates. Something's interfering. I don't think he heard us, but I've got a lock on his location. Oh, okay. Immune. Yeah, we do a little damage now. This would be the time for a rocket launcher. No touches. Nice, somebody has a rocket launcher. Oh yeah, there we go, right into the core, right into the penis. Is he gonna res me? No, I can't just get up myself. And I think we get a chest now. There we go. Let's get the chest. Get yeah, just some. Oh crap. Dude, dude, what the hell? Leave me alone. I didn't do it. I didn't touch anything. Oh, I got, actually I have a second gun as well. Just fire damage with special ammunition. So now we have to go and track down the signal. Where is that? There we go. On the top left, you can see my radar. This is where I have to go over here. And you can play this guy over and over if you want. Um, but that's... we don't need to do that. We got some nice armor. Let's check that out in a second. Oh, there's another container. I'm not gonna say no to that. Oh, that's the container I already picked up, is it? Nope. Nice, we got more. Oh, we got a triple jump actually with this guy. Hey, Gary, how are you? I like the, the 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 hyperness of the game. That is really something I like. Ah. Oh, thank the light. I didn't think we had other guardians on patrol here. Listen, my fire team's missing. I need backup. And oh, you're fresh out of the grave, aren't you? We heard your distress call. We're here to help. Brave. I like it. Tall order for your first day, though. Doesn't help that I rushed the perimeter scans and now. Well, the hunter. I like class cannon builds in general, and I the hunter is. I need to locate my team um, there's nothing left to find. The warlock looks interesting as well. I'll get you to the city soon enough. I've made it this far. Let me help. I get it. Nobody likes to be sidelined. Guardians are stronger together. Isn't that right? Huh. 
You sound like Commander Zavala. Commander Zavala's voice right, is amazing. Then. Load up. Who's that voice this actor? Actually, I, I, it's not Lance Reddick. It's but he's we'll he's through. a very nice. We is it Lance Reddick? I think it's Lance Reddick. Follow my signal. Like amazing voice acting. I could listen to this guy forever talk. Like not that guy. Like Lance Reddick. I I know, rip R I P. But uh, very very good uh, actor and uh, voice actor. There's a weapon in that locker. Probably an upgrade for you. Grab it and head to my location. Okay, so one of the things um, that I don't yet fully understand, I think primary primary ammunition will always do a certain damage to um, uh, uh, an enemy, no matter what they are immune to or more vulnerable to. But then you have the specials, and um, the specials is like, I think there could be one of five elements or something, like kinetic, fire, whatever. And this one here is, um, actually, I don't know, what is it? I actually don't know what that is. It, I don't know where you can see that. Um, this one has a full choke, tight barrel, aggressive frame, high damage. So from what I understand, even though sometimes you get weapons which have a higher power level, this is how you level up in this game, basically your power level. Um, having a higher power level, sometimes you get weapons with a higher power level, but the one you had has really good... Um, traits on it like this one has adaptive frame but it also has um what is the other thing that it has on it i can't really see what it is it's adaptive frame hip fire grip so what is hip fire grip increases accuracy stability precision so this is a is a, is a much better gun obviously like yeah but then you have these stats here and sometimes you have guns which are of lower power but do more damage it's really weird and you can change certain behavior on it which i really like uh, balance hand cannon sight, slightly increased range, slightly increased stability, slightly increased handling speed, or you can go steady hand HCS, whatever that is, increased stability, increased handling speed, but it doesn't increase range, but it increases by a lot more than this. So yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I like that. And then armor piercing rounds, which is obviously like great. But yeah, I don't know exactly when to swap to what type of damage weapon yet. Also, one of the things that I know is that... Um, your stats, when you enhance your your gear with uh, stats like this one here, has uh, five energy. So I can put five upgrades into that. So say I go with resilience, that uses up four energy because it's plus ten resilience. And then with one, I'm going to go reduces incoming solar damage from compartments. Solar damage, I guess that's the, the orange one. So mine is actually not fire, it's solar damage. So if you do that, you see the way the resilience went up from 16 to 26. As far as I understand it, you don't get the 26. It actually goes to 20. I saw that in a video. It only rounds to the it rounds down to the closest 10. So having 29 is the same as having 20. I don't know if that's still true. They might have changed that uh, uh, since I saw the video, but that's what I saw. So if that is still true, you can also then, jump ship. you know, I need you really max, min max your stats, which is great. So, higher tier color weapons always customization to a good degree, so you will be able to sort of have the same stats at all the time. Oh, that's good. Something's causing interference. My scanner's shot. We might be doing this the old-fashioned way. Analyzing. I've got a source for the interference. Let's check it out. Find the source. Oh yeah, if we go into uh, this screen now here, so we have quests here. There's, I believe the new light is the quest chain you want to focus on as a new player. Um, I don't have anything here yet. So this is, we're gonna track that. So if we go on this confusing big map, we can see exactly where that mission is. So this map here still confuses me. Um, I believe Shadowkeep is the moon. Each of those planets is a DLC, is it? Something like that, is that about right? Because uh, from what I was reading up about is if I want to start Shadowkeep, I have to go to the moon and just start talking to the person that is here or something. And you start the campaign here, something like that. 
Um, but yeah, it is very confusing. The game, it, it, it is better. I, I tried playing Destiny before a few years ago and I just got lost and I gave up. But it, it, it is a lot better than it used to be before. Uh, it was telling you more about things. But it is not very newcomer friendly compared to a lot of other games, to be honest. Get the Fallen off that thing. Get me closer to that antenna. Stolen city tech has been spliced in here. That's scrambling your scans. Oh yeah, All beyond the basics, I'm very stupid scrap. so was this They're game. Certainly skilled at it. This will take a minute to fix. So when do you use your special armor? Just with the bigger guys, like with the ones with the yellow well, lifelines? Okay, I might actually have to change my... Oh, I can't do that. No, that's terrible. Signal restored. Damn. Our team signals are missing, and last known locations are nowhere near each other. They wouldn't split up unless things got real bad. I'll track Cass. You find Maeve. So Second primary primary ammunition never will do as much damage, really, uh, than the special ammunition, unless obviously it's a much weaker gun than special ammunition. But I think we have to go up here, yeah. Myths say the Fallen once lived in the Traveler's Grace, but something happened. The Traveler left them, and that brought ruin to their civilization. And the further away you are, obviously, the less way, damage you do. What they lost, hoping to get it back, or take it from us. That's the guy. There was one hiding here, I thought. Okay, let's get the... Where's the bikes? Yeah. That's like Wipeout. It actually feels pretty awesome. Looks like the Fallen want to keep us out. Or keep something in. There's worse than dregs in old Russia. Depends on the gun. Some guns have Let's more range and do more damage at, at range. Oh, okay, yeah. This is locked down with adaptive encryption. We'll need access keys to bypass it. The fallen salvagers might have some. Where is uh, here? Ah, shit.
Oh, we have special ammunition, and we don't have a heavy ammo gun yet. That's one key. We need two more. Where's my bikey? See if I can change my controller. So what I want to do is um, controller keyboard here. So I have where's F F F F here. So that's the super. What do I have my here? Yeah. So what is that? That is block only available when using a super or weapon in third person. Auto melee, yeah. So this is melee, and F is super. But some for some reason, sometimes this also executes my super. So V, whatever V is, yeah. I want to do this, yeah, because that is dodge, and I think I'm gonna be much faster doing that on my. Um... Yeah, exactly. Let's just go. I have to go to a bikey. Um, oh, I like the game, Drax, definitely. I, I saw your invite. I think I accepted it uh, um, the other day. Oh, actually, hang on a second. Forgot you can shoot with that thing. Whoever that is, is immune to... That's all the keys we need. I should be able to break the encryption now. You sent that email more than two months ago. I don't, I, I don't know when I started looking at uh, Destiny. I, I, the last few days, I just played it quite a lot on the on my on my test character that I deleted now. Shaw, you were right about this barrier. The fallen were keeping the hive at bay. The Mave is in more trouble than I thought. You need to hurry. This is a powerful surge of arc energy. Whatever's causing it, even transmats oh, won't get through. We die. I thought I tried. I actually never tried that. So it doesn't like us to go through that. Interesting. It, it mustn't like hunters. My only complaint about the game is that it doesn't fo have photo mode. Oh, I can imagine like some awesome costumes that you're wearing. You want to get fully. Hide contact. Darkness is suffocating my light. Oh, 
Maeve's signal is just ahead. No. Okay, that's the end of Maeve. There may still be light left in her ghost. Shaw, I'm sorry. We were too late. I was too. Cass, I... I couldn't get to him in time. No. There was a hive wizard. A powerful one. We tried. This isn't on you. The tragedy. You did what you could. We have the remains of her ghost. She'd appreciate that. You should just... Just head to camp before that wizard comes back. So mission area is done. I like the triple jump really we can do. It's awesome. Oh, we have a heavy weapon now as well, I just noticed. We must have picked it up. Oh, the art is amazing. Yeah, I I even for, for a game that came out so long ago. It's amazing. Hold tab, and you're ready on a destination, and then we're gonna go here, and we fast travel. Even the light has limits. Sometimes, you don't come back. He has a potato nose. A powerful wizard named Navota. Didn't expect to run into something that strong, and I wasn't prepared. Now it's too late. Maven Cast knew the risks. Best way to honor them is to finish the job. There's a Golden Age relic. A I like his arm. In a sealed chamber nearby. Vanguard says we can make a weapon out of it. Problem is. The superconductor is overflowing with arc energy. Can't even get near the place, much less break the lock. We need to find a solution, and something tells me our fallen neighbors know a thing or two about the infrastructure here. These were my fire team's assignments. They're yours now. Go shake the tree, we'll see what falls out. Okay. So yeah, some of the things that I still find confusing is the quest, because sometimes it shows you an arrow where to go, and sometimes it doesn't, and you have no idea what you're really doing because you can't see. I'm used to looking at a quest thing, and especially the quest where it says, oh, collect 20 or 30 of these things, you know, by killing random mobs. You don't see any progress on the screen anywhere, and unless that's something you can turn on. But that confused the hell out of me when I tried it uh, the first time on my other character. Because it was like, what am I supposed to do? It's like, I have no idea. <laughs> That's an energy weapon, okay. So, and these things as well, I'm assuming you always want to pick them up because they give you extra XP rewards. You got it. Um, they're just like little challenges, I guess. You got it. And this one is a lightfall challenge. Defeat foes of the traveler where they're found. More powerful foes grant additional progress. And then I get an air, air ballast, whatever that is, an air ballast. Uh, revolver or something i don't know what it is it looks like somebody's intestines wrapped around something um and that is the new um lightfall quest so we might as well start that okay so yellow is exotic is it <laughs> if you don't talk to sean i'm going to blink potato nose <laughs> Yeah, you can see the progress when you when you press tab, but there's like nothing selected right now. You have the public, the bounties, the bounties, that's what they're called, yeah. Track quest. So and one of the things that I turned actually off intentionally is the um the auto tracking of quests. So because what happened is um when you don't know what everything does, it's very overpowering to constantly have all the, the main quests kind of like um, 
uh, auto selected and you kind of go where am i supposed to go i don't know i have no idea whatever yeah so um let's see actually do we get anything unlocked here So what I do is I manually select it. So I go to the new light and then this one says uh, commune with the traveler to learn its lesson. How do I do that? I have no idea. And then um, a guardian rises, defeat fallen to recover data scraps. So this here, we are supposed to d d gather 20 scraps, but you can see I don't see that anywhere. But yeah, I never thought about that. So here we can see how many we have. Okay, so this is how it works. Fair enough. So I just open tab and I can see it. Okay. That makes sense. So where is this one here? Uh, commune with the traveler to learn its lesson. I guess we're going to do that automatically at some point. Now, uh, one of the things that I really like as well is these events. Now, you can sit there and wait for them or whatever. Yeah, There's events and then there is these... What are these called? These hidden icons if you go to them they're like little mini dungeons or something they have like a boss inside and there's only one here on this map lost sectors yeah but they're like mini dungeons isn't it where you don't team up with others they're just for you like single player dungeons and then you have the thing which again is also a little confusing like you know, wave point where is it um, oh it's here for example on the moon if I click on the moon why does that say launch? Is that actually... Oh, does that... Will this launch the Shadowkeep campaign? Is that right? Um, but I also can just travel there and talk to that person, I guess. But or, or are these icons the ones that will start the actual story? Ah, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, it's, it, it is uh, quite overwhelming, like, the amount of things that are happening here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be spending more time on the screen as well now. I actually didn't realize that that's what it does. You can track all that. That's good. I know it says to you earlier to open it. And what are these patrols? They're just like mini uh, missions, I think. The city needs supplies, Guardian. Hostiles oh. in your region have what we need. There's his voice. So they're like mini uh, quests where you have like a little event thing just you know triggered oh yeah we have to meditate so are they worth doing these mini missions oh that's really good trucks let me check that out in a minute oh okay so that's now the commune Because I did get all the DLCs that were available, so I, I have everything, and I was kind of try. I'm trying to play the base game, and then when it's time after the base game, which I don't know when that's finished, actually, I want to start Shadowkeep. So if we go, you said go to destinations, look in the upper corners, you'll see the timeline that shows you uh, different DLCs. Is it this here? Is it? No. Oh, oh. Purchased expansions. So if I select this. I don't think I have that. I don't think I have that because I didn't see the point of buying that. So this is the current expansion. So the Witch Queen is here. So where's Shadowkeep on this? Oh, oh, Forsaken. Oh, okay. So this we can't play because it's gone. And if I click on this, can I do anything with that? Season of the Undying, Season of Dawn, Season of the Worthy, Season of Arrivals. So does it actually tell you as well how to start it? Yeah, I saw it has an extra dungeon, but I didn't want to pay 25 quid just for a dungeon. Um, 
So where the, there were the different seasons, but does it tell you anywhere as well um, how to start? I'm assuming it says here moon. And then beyond light is go beyond the light and wield the darkness. But it, where do, it says friend and like the ruins of Europa and the new Cal. So this one is Europa, I guess. So shadow keep uh, beyond light. So you just click on, on this, is it? And start the campaign. And that's it. So, okay. That's actually pretty cool. I didn't know that you can click on that. That is awesome. And then after Beyond Light, you have uh, the Witch Queen, which is uncover the mysteries, learn the secrets required to craft all new weapons and new weapons. Archive Twisted Throne World. Twisted Throne World. Twisted Throne World. Where is that? Oh, this one. So this one here is then... Oh, that has two. The Arrival and requires the Witch Hunter campaign progress. Okay. Yeah, that that is pretty... Oh, yeah, you look at the icons. Yeah, that makes sense. And then Lightfall is the current one, which is City of Travelers of Soul. It is used it is well as Emperor, the Witness of Ames. So the other planets are just part of the original game, I guess, missions or whatever. There's nothing here really you can jump in on. What is that? Okay. Complete the first contact mission. Lightfall campaign. Oh, Neptune is then the Lightfall campaign. Okay. So meditate. Shit. Oh, we got a new kinetic weapon. So this one here is dynamic sway reduction. Greatly increases handling speed. Oh, I have a new special as well. This is a sn oh, sniper rifle instead of a shotgun. And then we have the rocket launcher here. What does Dragonfly do? Precision kills create an elemental damage explosion. Nice. 
increase handling speed, slight increase in range, long zoom, increase in range. Nice. Sure, let's try it out. Oh, I love it. Oh, we can actually just meditate. Okay. I don't even have to blow it up. I don't know what happens when I run out of time, I'll probably get penalized. Oh, we made it last second. Nice. <laughs> I don't know what happens actually. We just completed a bounty. Oh yeah, look at that. We can see the progress. Showstopper is completed. Brighton Buddha is completed. Um, precision, Cosmodrome Precision. I guess that's with the sniper rifle. Or whenever we aim down sight or something. What do you repower? Recharge, let's recharge. Here we go. So 
So where's my supercharge? Because I can see in the middle the knives is actually my special here, yeah? But what is the supercharge? How do I see when that's full? Is that the bar on the top, is it? Where am I missing to end? Yeah, let's go here. It's about, oh, it is the bar, yeah, because every time I get this super confused with uh, the middle skill, I thought the middle skill was my super, and then every time I click F and it doesn't work, I'm confused. <laughs> Good to know. There we go, yeah, I can see it now. Okay, so we survived, that's a good thing. Ember of Combustion, Solar Fragment. You can finish them with G, oh. Oh, I didn't know that, that is cool. Now, I wonder if my middle mouse button is used for anything, because a finisher middle mouse button would be awesome. I actually, I still find this actually okay. Like, uh, um, the gunplay is just so much fun that even if the stuff is a bit boring, it's, it's not too bad, if you know what I mean. Okay, my middle mouse button does nothing, so... Le 
let me see, because then I can do it really quick. I have to get an MMO mouse at some point with all the buttons on the side. That's going to be so much more fun. G, finish player highlight. Um, there we go. Oh, we're back here now. Do you get more experience when you team up with somebody? So say Azomain is... Uh, you, you go back online or whatever and you want to do something together to so get more experience together. And now we get the fallen data scrub so if we do this now we can see that we have seven out of 20 and i think we have all the things completed all the bounties completed awesome oh no we still need void oh fallen damage what is that void damage and arc damage oh and we have to do some public events that's actually cool because there's a public event Ah, there's one here, but that doesn't start for another four minutes, so we're gonna do some public events. Yes. Season round 10. Let's see what the weapon is. Oh, this is great, because I needed that for more damage. Oh, it's just a replacement for that. It's a grenade launcher. Uh, well, we might as well keep the rocket launcher. I don't like grenade... Hmm, they're sticky grenades. Oh, okay. If they're sticky grenades, then that's a different story. I like it. And it has multiple. I love the animations of the guns and everything. That's also amazing as well. I did I did already loot this, did I not? I just did. Yeah. Oh, somebody needs to revive. No, they already revived. I don't know what I need these resources for, but always pick them up, I guess, because later on, if you need them, I'm glad you picked it up. chest in here. Awesome. Oh, Azamain, look at that. It's awesome. How do I accept the friend invite? Let me see. The director. And Don't ever let up. The darkness won't. Oh, there. Invite. Bungie friend request. Um, details. Accept friend request. Great. Okay. Excellent. Need something? I see you made progress. Show looks down as cloak freshly mended. I love this as well. Bit of an effort for writing. Um, okay, let's pick up this. Sounds good. Sure. The Guardian rises progressed. Four out of four. Oh, there was more? Hang on a second, there's more bounties. Alright. Okay. So how do I hand those bounties in? I think it's in the quest thing, isn't it? Yeah. Kinetic weapon targets, hive. Public events, void damage. Okay, we have the void. We just need some arc damage now, and we already completed solar. So this one here is... Oh, nice. Defeat compartments using your ability? Awesome. And then we get the Everlast. Oh, we just have to finish one more. So a special ability. I 
Actually, hoo hoo. Somebody already did it. And then I think you get weapons which have uh, a perk to generate uh, orbs of power like this guy there. And I think the orbs of power then uh, speed up the reloading of your super, isn't it? Somebody shooting at me. There's some. We have to speak with Banshee 44 at the tower, I think. Well, let's do this. Weapons grade energy spikes detected. Could be anything from firearms to high bioenergetics. Requesting Final a blows. guardian responder. So, what do we have to do? Supercharge. How many more do we need to do? Oh, we finished that. Oh, we did finish it earlier. Find Shaw back at his camp. Speak with Shaw. Let's do that. Um, ability, ability, final blows. These are mods uh, on your armor. Grenade last hits, create orbs of power. Yeah. What do you mean uh, ability? Is is this? According to that schematic you found, the power grid here is linked to a dormant comms array. Oh, that was the twenty four That array should be pulling plenty up, of juice right. from the grid, but it's offline. If we spin it up, it might stop the overload and get us to the superconductor. Oh yeah, the, but what is the final blow? Is that, is that to just kill them basically? The itself and the power station. To top it off, Novota is still out there, so you need to watch yourself. I'm not losing any more guardians today. Nightwatch kinetic weapon. Okay. All right. Oh, let's see, we have now a power weapon as prime. Oh no, that's just a legendary primary. Overflow, what does overflow do? Kill tracker, enemies defeated. Um, explosive pair projectiles, overflow. Picking up special heavy armor automatically loads this weapon beyond normal capacity, nice.
Okay. Awesome. So let's see where we... Um to do um, complete the mission called boot continue guardian rises what is this oh that's just another uh, beacon then okay so that that's that's how I can detect more of those It doesn't reload until you're done. Fair enough. Okay, this one reloads. Okay, let's continue with the quest. Overflow means it doesn't lose any... No, it, uh, sorry, I forgot what overflow means now. Picking up special heavy armor automatically loads this weapon beyond normal capacity. Ah, okay. That's awesome. I forgot that that's what it means. Now I understand. I can't wait to unlock my own vehicle where this is all going to become a bit faster. Oh, there's an event, is there? Yeah. Okay, that's the campaign, the cold boot. Let's start it. Yeah, as soon as you get used to some of the traits and then you know them all. Yeah, that's the thing, like, is the more you find them and then you figure out which ones you actually prefer and... We need to get that array operational to balance the power grid. I can reboot it from the station out here, but not while the systems are in lockdown. Okay. How can we help? Find the central terminal. You can patch me in from there. So I think for speed reasons, I prefer the other gun. I know this is better, and it says it's legendary, so, but yeah. I like to have the auto rifle is just really sweet. I feel more comfortable with that in the moment. Because I already have a rifle, a golden age a sniper facility. rifle here. Lost during the collapse hundreds of years ago. It's amazing parts of it are still functioning. Let me actually try to shoot with that because I think it's a bit slow. If Shaw's right, activating the array should stop this arc energy from overloading. The hive nests in the shadows. But they'll be on the move soon enough. The fallen are territorial. More concerned with Yeah, so I can't just hold it down. It's not an automatic. But it does a lot more damage, so yeah, it's just a matter of getting used to it. Oh, let me try that. Nice. That is awesome. Oh, what is that? Hang on. There's more. Big boy.
Ah, oh, shit. Oh yeah, we get locked into a room now, that's right. We're blocked. The power fluctuations caused a lockdown. Yeah, alright. I'm on it. Sit tight. Hive, incoming. Stay in one piece. I'll have you out soon. A bit spicy. Backup. I can take the heat, but I'm pinned down. Spicy like a pepper. Oh, look at that. There's more people, and there's all oh, these events. What kind of mischief? How about the loud kind? The hive are drawing power from that ritual. So there's an event right here, nice. How am I not dead? Nice. Public event and we got some armor. Nice, nice, nice. Um, Love that. It's fantastic. Let's go to the next event, I guess. increasing if 
defeat the Revenant Knight. Oh, he's right here. Okay. Let's see how Revenant the Knight is. Where is he? How do I get in there? Oh, is it here? That got a response. I like it. enemies now. That's the only downside when there's other players. Oh, yes. Clear. Get out of there before you're overrun. Okay, let's go. I think I'm going in the right Sean, direction. whatever yeah. you're doing is working. Yeah, well, I'm still stuck in the subsystems. They aren't pulling enough juice. Get to the control room and reboot the main dish. It's the only way we'll draw enough power. Um, word of advice, Max, upgrade your ghost shell as soon as you can. You can equip 50 to 65 mod on it. Yeah, I saw that on the, um, on the, the character. Panel. I just didn't know exactly all what that means, but... Um... Accessing systems. Okay, you'll need to negotiate between crypto systems and verify the security lattice. Done. Breach layer restored. Master array launch queued. All right, then. Uh, rerouting power your way. That's pretty good, because this is a solar weapon. Machine gun? Oh, machine gun. Okay. The array. It's operational. Time to go Rambo, yeah. Let's see if we have anything else. Oh, nice. It's drowning our comms. We're on our own. Hive tomb ships. Oh, my stat is actually mobility. Okay. I don't know why I go with resilience then. Maybe I should go with mobility.
That was pretty awesome. A tier 1 heart, tier 10 reduced incoming damage by 30%. If you're not alive, you can't dodge anyway. Yeah, resilience is most important, I guess. It's just, I think resilience was for the for the Titan. Um, Do you read? You still with me? We're alive. I, I shouldn't have put you in that position. When you dropped off comms, I thought... We're all right, Shaw. This machine gun is retreat. awesome. Did it work? Checking. Uh, looks like it. Levels are dropping across the grid. Just need to unlock the chamber now and we can finish this. Get back to camp before Novosa makes another appearance. power weapons? Power weapon. Mm, okay. Well, that will count down now. So... Power weapon. Swap to your power... Oh, press 3. Okay. Precision is when you aim to deal damage to targets. Aim where they're most vulnerable. And then public events. We have one more public event. Yeah, machine guns are awesome. I'm going to keep that one. Um, but I think the upgrade cubes are very expensive to get. I, I only have 16 because of the season pass, I think. I need an arc gun so I can do my bounty. Oh, there's an event going off in four minutes and five seconds. Or is it gone in four minutes and five seconds? I don't know. Could have used that. Oh, did I not get a chest? Oh, oh. Nice! So, oh yeah, I forgot about that. So when you do an event, and you finish the event in a, in a good time, you have a chance of getting the next higher tier of the event, which is the heroic tier. Isn't that right? So your rewards are a bit better. I think by default you just get Glimmer, but this chest here, wherever it will be, there's a chest. There's no chest. Oh, oh there it is. Uh, we should get an item now as well, is it? Ooh, that purple. So, what is better? A blue with five energy or a purple with one energy? 
Well, I suppose the resilience we put on this increased is increased pretty much like here. So yeah, it doesn't really matter. So in this case, one energy is, I suppose, fine. Yeah, I, I, uh, oh, you can raise the energy, but I don't want to waste any um, resources yet. This is all gear replaced pretty quickly, so I'm assuming, let me see. Oh, yeah, that calls legendary shards. And legendary shards, I only get them from, every, like, from deconstructing all the gear. Okay, let's go. Let's head over here to our actual mission. Hang on, continue the Guardian Rise. What? Oh, okay, then I can fast travel here if we just have to talk to Sean. Yes. Sorry to do this to you, we got our vehicle. I'm headed for the superconductor, and I'm running this part solo. We've had enough Guardians die today. The city needs new blood like you. Gotta keep you safe. Before you think about doing something reckless, there's only one access key to that chamber, and I've got it on me. If I make it out, I look forward to working with you again. If not, I left you a sparrow. Take it and get out of here. Get to the last city. Shahan, over and out. How could he do this? Navota is still out there, and she already destroyed two Guardians. This is bad. Shaw said he took the only key, but he can't have searched the whole Cosmodrome. There has to be more. Let me check his archived location data. He was recently doing something out on the Forgotten Shore. Let's start searching there. Sending coordinates. Okay, so now we have to complete the mission vendetta, which is probably here, yeah. Vendetta, and that is, if we go here, we can probably get to that there very easily. Sixty-nine total starts spread between the different, okay. See, sometimes I miss when I pick up things. Yep, got a helmet. Rapid solar weapon final blows create an orb of power. Oh, when one of your ammo finder perks creates a brick of special ammo for you, it also creates a brick of ammo for your allies. That's pretty cool. I think we can dismantle all the brown stuff. And the blue stuff. Yeah, I'm definitely going to keep that machine gun. And the rocket launcher is nice. Grenade launchers, oh, the sticky, they're all three nice, actually. <laughs> I do like the auto rifle, though.
Really missed you there. Only had two bullets left. Where is it hiding? Oh, crap, wrong. Damn it. Sorted. <laughs> oh, when you start the game up, I think it shows you the Lightfall cinematic when you played the first time since you logged in before that and then you get into that weird dungeon thing it's yeah i died so many times because i don't know why i ended up there as well and then i was like screw that so i had to read up and it was like oh yeah the T destiny 2 does that when they have something new they just force it on you no matter where you were before our precision quest 18 two more precisions it probably wasn't one it yeah there we go we got it Was there no closer fast travel point here? Yeah, maybe. I haven't unlocked it yet though. Public event there. Yeah, the intermission is free, is it? Yeah, because I didn't own Lightfall when I play when I started up De uh, Destiny Two the first time um, last week. 
and it brought me into that weird like I created a character and I started and I did the first intro mission then I locked off and when I locked back in I had that cinematic and um, ended up somewhere I don't know where it was I have a vehicle, yeah, I keep forgetting about it though. I can't reach Shao and Kongs. Nevota gets to him first. We need to find another key and access that chamber, fast. There's some old caches nearby. Let's start there. It was quite a welcome. Oh, hang on. I have to go here first. What? Oh, yeah. No key, but I'm detecting residual particles consistent with cash alloys. There were more chests here once. They must have been stolen by Fallen or Hive. There's a particle trail leading to a nearby cave. Sending coordinates now. Tower to feed. We're showing a catch from the House of Dusk en route to the Cosmo. Unassigned hands, please respond. Nice, we didn't have an arm piece before. Still no key. I'm reading two other particle trails on my tracker. Check your weapons. I'm reading a cluster of hive bioenergetics. Careful. I'm detecting a high density of falling weapon signatures nearby.
Oh shit, I was about to revive. Come on, we can do it, we can do it. Oh, he disappeared, chicken. Killed the boss man with a knife. Ah, there's some encryption code on this data pad, but it's incomplete. If we find more, I could fake the authorization and act as a key myself. There's still one more cache on the tracker. boost my signal for the key to register though i'm reading a concentration of energy in the moth yards might be what we need i've marked your tracker oh i got a cloak that's right thanks for reminding me um i think with two we can get the lower resilience Yeah. Um, high impact frame, field prep. What is field prep? Increased ammo reserves, faster reload. Oh, nice. Increased range, increased handling speed. Increased handling speed, slightly increased range. Short zoom, short zoom, light flex, flexible side, lightweight side. Ah, okay, you can see it here, yeah. That's yeah, pretty nice.
Should I do the last, um, what is it called again? The last signal? Fusion rifles? Is that what that is? Ooh, yeah, let me try that out. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, let's stick with that. Yeah. But I might actually take the zoom out a bit. It's a bit far, the zoom. So let's short zoom. Oh, it's still... Yeah, it's still pretty good. This area is full of ionized superconductor energy. It must have dispersed when we activated the array. I can use this to amplify my signal. Let's collect the charges. Oh. I still can't reach Shaw. We need to hurry. Oh, crap. Power weapon. Grenade launcher. It doesn't have sticky. But it's a power weapon. What does that do? Oh, they're very hard to aim unless you're right in front of them. Here we go. Starting recursive analysis. Threat complete. I am now authorized. Let's hurry. I'm showing an alert from Rasputin that a Warsat unit is about to crash in the Cosmodrome. Might as well do it, we're right here.
we have to stay in the circle for it to transmit? No, oh, 20, 21. So if we're not in the circle, let me see. It doesn't continue, we have to stay in the circle. So he's not helping by not being in the circle. I've wasted my special. When does that become active again? the chamber oh oh nice we got the arc now that is really cool because we need that for the uh, bounty there we go we need arc damage and a little bit more void damage so we need to pick up the machine gun again Where is it machine gun and hopefully we find some ammunition um why would it come i have no idea they put them in a vault i think um i i don't know why because i would have assumed that you can still play them at least for the story and um, no idea why they would do that That should have been a uh, good... Oh, so it only counts the kills. So it's four kills. Okay. So it is another pri primary. Uh, it's a pity we can't put that primary here, but uh, it just means we have room for... Um, putting in the first slot um, a power weapon, kinetic, whatever. Pain locations were bothered because the game was getting magic. too large. That okay. explains why transmats were blocked. Shit. 
the photon. Eyes up, Guardian. Does that count to the bounty? No, we have to actually get kills. Oh shit. Can you come into the trap? That would be great. Vote is gone. Wherever she went, I can't detect her anymore. But I've got a lock on Shaw's ghost. Shaw's ghost? He's dead as well. Jeez, that will die. Let me help him. Shaw, oh. are you all right? Oh, he's okay, what? okay. What are you doing here? We couldn't let you do this alone. Navota? She's still alive. So we need three Somewhere. more kills. We did enough to force her to retreat. You fought her off? Yeah. All right then. I'm sorry I left you behind. After Cass and Maeve, I was just afraid to lose anyone else. So were we. Hey, Kane. That's why we followed you. Nobody likes to be sidelined. I'm glad you were here. I owe you. The prize is yours. Superconductor is over there. Grab it and meet back at camp. For real okay. this time. We'll do. This one? I can feel the arc light coursing through this. No wonder the Vanguard want to make a weapon with it. Let's head back to camp and then the last city. Home.
Hey. Thanks for the assist. No problem, Again. Potato Nose. Wish you stumbled in a day earlier. Might have gone differently. Maybe Cass and Maeve. Oh, dude, you have no idea. Have you watched me play uh, games? I get everybody killed. You. I've got new you obviously haven't seen my State of fruit. Decay 2 playthroughs. <laughs> Maybe I'll find some other new lights to shepherd along. As Just you, don't start a sentence with, time you meet I have a great well. idea. He leads Guardian Ops from the last city. I've told him you'll be arriving soon with a superconductor, so take care of that thing. No dents or scratches. Zavala is a great leader and a good person. Learn from him. And don't be a stranger. Guardians are stronger together, right? Exactly. Ooh, we got a ship. Nice. Right. Okay, so we're done here, I think. Um, travel to the tower, which is part of the Guardian of the Rise. So this, we don't have to follow because that is that. End of story. This is something we have to follow because in the tower now... Can we just finish these two here? I think we should finish these. I mean, two birds, one stone. This is a power weapon. And that would um, allow us to finish that. But uh, the power weapon thing. But also, the void thing can finish that. Let's start um, this thing over here. Patrol. Then we definitely get some guys to kill. To all guardians on the Cosmodrome front lines, invaders in your area possess equipment or bioenergetics the tower can use. Nice, here we go, incoming. doing um void is done and cosmodrone fallen power weapon is done yeah so now we can go back to our normal weapon actually we're gonna go back to this because we have to kill some fools with that one how many more one more There we go, full spectrum gun. And I think these guys are fallen as well, so we're gonna get the fallen one done as well with three more kills.
I think that's it. All done. Now it's just hive patrols and kinetic weapons, which we don't have yet. So we just need a few more drops. ship just to drop off a robot and it's dude genie mac need four more Is that a kinetic weapon? I think it is, isn't it? No, it's not a kinetic weapon. I don't know what a kinetic weapon is. Is without elements. Oh, so it's this one here. Yeah, okay. Well, we kill them with the other thing as well, so let's go to the tower. Destination, tower, advent, single player, welcome to the tower, it's selected, and launch, I guess that's what we do now. Yeah, my AI is arc, yeah. And then I have a, I have a three weapon, actually, that looks like a, a gun or something like The last survivors of humanity's collapse call the city home. This is why I brought you back. To defend them. And to reclaim our lost worlds. We're here. The Traveler. The last city. Welcome home. Welcome to the tower and the last safe city of humanity. I've been here many times over the years. I'm glad you finally get to see it, to see why we're here and what we need to protect. Let's start by registering your jump ship. Do you know, I can see now what um, the wild, what was the terrible game that looked exactly like that. They tried to make that um, uh, with the mechs. Not Titanfall, the, the other one that failed. Um, that actually had such good promise, which was... It reminds me of this when you walk through the tower here. It reminds me exactly of this. But they're messing right it. Heck of a day. Anthem, yeah, that's what it was, yeah. Anthem is like, that could have been so good. Nice, isn't it? It's good to have somewhere that feels like home. For me, this is it. Oh, okay, we have to do okay. the rest first. Okay, next up okay. is tower security. 
we've had an increase in guardians sneaking in contraband since a fellow called the Drifter arrived. So Vanguard Command instituted a check for first-timers. Looks like the superconductor's Golden Age tech triggered some warnings. I'm clearing it with security. Commander Zavala would like to meet you in person. I'll lead you to him. Zavala leads the entire Vanguard, the group that supports all Guardian operations. Lately, he spends more time commanding troops than fighting on the front lines. But he placed some of the first stones in the wall we're standing on. Zavala thinks every life in the city is his responsibility. Even a Guardian has trouble bearing that kind of weight. He's going to need your help. Yes, Mr. Sky, Lance Reddick. That's the Traveler. It's where I came from. Where the light you wield came from. Ah, it's you. The one that saved Shaw. Thank you for that. Your ghost has been looking for you for a long time. I'm glad he finally found you. And now you found the light. The Traveler entrusted us with this power so that we may protect our people this from the This is still part of the first destiny, is it? So if You've I get Destiny 1 on PlayStation 5, this is still all part of that? I don't take Shaw's recommendation lightly. But you have much to learn. And the conflict with the darkness is unyielding. Zavala doesn't usually talk that much. You should take that as a compliment. I've marked his office on your tracker. Careful not to break anything in there, and don't touch his music. Fight hard, Guardian. Doesn't help you or your opponents to go easy. This is a Vanguard service weapon, but it's from Zavala's personal collection. Shaw must have talked you up quite a bit, or maybe Zavala saw something in you. Where to next? Oh, you should head to the bazaar. That's where we'll find Ikora. Yeah, they're really close combat, yeah, you're right. World of Warcraft. Ogrima, jumping constantly waiting for the tower. <laughs> for the lift. It's funny what it's funny the things that trigger certain memories. Yeah, Anthem definitely Ikora tried to do Vanguard. something extremely she similar the to this. Warlocks, like Zavala leads the Titans. She does a little bit of everything. Guiding the Warlock orders in research and development, enemy reconnaissance, and internal affairs. Welcome home, Guardian. I heard your journey to the last city was an eventful one. It may not feel like it now, but the tribulations you faced were a blessing. A Guardian's path is one of hardship and peril. The Traveler's gifts paved the way, but the road is still a hard one to walk. Shaw Han told me what you experienced in the Cosmodrome. How you witnessed the true death of the Guardian Maeve at the hands of the Hive Wizard Navoda. And how you were guided by what remained of the light from Maeve's ghost. All Guardians 
at one time or another, are shown by the traveler how to refine their connection to the light. How to feel and express greater sway over the powers they have been gifted. How to grow stronger. Your first guidance was born of Maeve's tragedy, discovered alone. Your next will be from me, and the lessons I have gathered from hundreds of others. We can start as soon as you are ready. Accept help where you can find it, Guardian. Our light shines brighter. Oh yes, I get a new ghost. So, I do solar first. Okay. Learn from Ikora and grow your light together. You can acquire more abilities. Um, embrace the unique abilities of your class. So I have dodge. Dodge to... Dodge to perform an evasive maneuver with a steady hand. Dodging automatically uh, reloads your weapon. Oh, that's awesome, actually. So you can completely empty it and dodge, boom, and you fall again. Dodge to perform a deft tumble, avoiding an enemy attack. What is radiance? Uh, dodge to perform an acrobatic leap. Upon landing, make yourself a nearby allies radiant. Is that like invisible or something? Then take it. To must unlock it, I look at you must meditate. What do I have here? So the golden gun. Summon a precision flame pistol that disintegrates targets with solar light. Over penetrates targets and creates orbs of power. Oh, I like orbs of power on precision hits. But that's only on precision hits. Vault into the air and unleash a volley of solar charge explosive knives. I'm gonna try that because solar uh, because orbs are always nice. I don't know both of them, but um... may it serve you well, guardian. This is the knives. Uh, quickly throw a knife. This is my takedown. Okay. Throw a knife that deals moderate damage. Precision hits with this knife make you radiant. Makes you radiant for a short duration. Once you're up to doing so and whatnot, we should do some strikes and stuff together. Oh yeah, as I mean, definitely. I, I, I am looking forward to doing some stuff uh, with you all right in here. Uh, throw a knife that attaches to a surface up an impact and explodes when it detects. Um, is a damage boost and has other effects. Oh, Radiant. So that sounds actually like something useful. Um, might as well try these things out. Very well. Yeah, they're very expensive to just unlock for for no reason, I guess. Um, triple jump. Yeah, I like triple jump. Strafe jump. While airborne jump a second time with strong direction control. That's similar to the Titan. Uh, yeah. High jump. Yeah, so the Titan has kind of the same things. Um, I like the triple jump. The triple jump is nice. Oh, the grenades. Yeah, swarm grenade. A grenade that detonates on impact, releasing multiple drones that seek nearby targets. Each drone slightly scorches affected targets. Um, a grenade that sends forth a burning line of fire, dealing damage and scorching targets in its path. A grenade that explodes in a fury burst. Cellular continuously damages scorches targets trapped inside. Oh, that sounds interesting. A grenade that cures allies on impact and creates an orb of benevolent solar light granting restoration to allies when picked up. Oh, that's pretty sweet. So you could change to that um, depending on what you're doing. I want to try that one here. And then we have aspects and fragments. Uh, Gunpowder gamble is when we press Q, throw a solar explosive that can be shot in the air because of what?
Defeat targets with solar debuffs and solar weapons to charge up. Oh, that's my... No, what? Oh, excuse me. What is that? Power up your subclass. Defeat targets with the Q press. Throw a solar explosion that can be shot in mid-air to cause an ignition. I don't get that. What is this? Um, I don't remember doing any of that. Oh, your solar supers are enhanced. Oh, so they're passives, I guess. While well, Radiant Final Blows with your equipped throwing knife would refund your melee energy. Maximum gun has increased duration. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Then take it. Fine tunes. Oh, shit. What is that? Plus 10 strength. Where is resilience? There. That's pretty cool. And it gives you... Oh, this is also resilience. Rapidly defeating multiple targets with solar ignition generates an orb of power. Yeah, let's do that. May it serve you well, Guardian. Okay, accept. Oh, we just did that. I sense him. I just can't on the far the edges of my mind. Know. He stirs in the vault. But why? Oh, there's a lot to take in, yeah. It's definitely is. Oh. What happened? Oh, there. Your light has not gone out. We stand behind you. Okay. If you expect us to trust you, we expect you to Always nice like to, to that see Ikora. While we're over here, we should check in with the Drifter. You may be wondering who leads the Hunters. See, we lost Cade Six, our Hunter Vanguard, a while back. Killed by a man named Uldren Sov. It was a difficult time. Now no hunter wants to take his place. Being a hunter has its challenges. You'll find that out yourself soon enough. Where's the... We have a quest for Banshee 44. The first Lightfall quest that I was able to pick up with Sean. You're looking This is the later? Trifter. Oh, nice. Got a melee weapon. Now we're getting to Banshee 44. Let's See, hope we're going to be able to... the thing about Drifter is... He's... Unique. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> Press the fire icon. Ah, yes. That's right. Oh, I never equipped it, that's why. Defeat targets with ability solar debuffs or solar weapons to charge up an improvised solar explosion. Throw a solar explosion that can be shot in mid-air to cause... Yeah, this one here is more passive, I like that. And, well, we can equip both, I guess. <laughs> okay. The weapons are enhanced by the powers of the Traveler and did increase damage to combatants while you're radiant, your weapons pierce. The shields, uh, shields and bar of barriers, champions and stun them. Nice. Okay, here we go. Plus strength. Yeah, I don't have a third one. Okay, that's good. Thank you for letting me know about that. That's actually pretty cool. Um. No stats. Well, 
God, we're gonna get some resilience on this now. Um, reduce melee cooldown when using your class abilities. Reduce grenade cooldown when using class abilities. Thank you. Now, you're saying I should upgrade this as soon as possible, is it? To get um, the experience, is it? Yeah, now I don't have any more cores left. So I think we can put in experience gain. Or we can put in... Um, I think glimmer to get more glimmer here. Yeah. So experience gain, is that the one that everybody goes with, is it? And then here we can go with um, extra glimmer, I guess. And then we get more enhancement course at some point and then we can, oh yeah, and Anyway, Zaval is asking us to visit the gunsmith next. His name is Banshee 44, our resident firearms expert. So who won? That's my introduction thing. Um, but I also have another quest for you. Please let me hand it in. Last stop is Master Rahul, the tower oh, crypto. I have to wait that until short this is over. crypto archaeologist. Oh, did I get the yellow weapon then? Why didn't I get that? The quest was supposed to uh, supposed to give me a yellow weapon. Oh, if I do all the steps, I get it. Okay, so we have to go do public events, defeat compartments and complete public events in the, in the newly discovered destination Neo Muna. Okay. I get it, I get it, okay. Talk to Raul. Oh, that's you, is it? Yeah. There's no data left. Your return honors me, Guardian. Um, I'm playing on PC, yeah. On Steam. Now talk to Commander Savala again. That about wraps it up. There are still people in the tower to meet, but you can do that at your own pace. Zavala sent me a message saying he has a mission ready for you. Check in with him if that sounds interesting, or we can just explore. In any case, I'm with you till the end. You take the lead. The walls will stand tall once again. What's killing wind? Final blows grant increased more. Oh yeah, I love that. Yeah, killing wind. I had that on a few weapons where you get, um, you start sprinting and you get really, really fast. That's uh, your weapon looks like it has ice Wizards. on the front. It looks awesome. I, if that's the same skill that I'm talking about. Uh, Guardian rises. Um, strike completed. Completing strikes. Um, okay. We finish here now.
yeah so now we can see i'm gonna do some stuff here um i have something here what do i have dead eye collect all weapon types and complete selected guild of triumph Oh, there's nothing here. Okay. Oh, there's my little ghost. Okay, so quest-wise. Let me see. We still, so we have to do a Guardian Rises next. Complete the strike that is graced by accessing the Vanguard playlist screen in the destination screen. So Vanguard, which is that. And then the Disgraced. Okay. This is our first group thing. I think vanguards are like group things. So I get teamed up with other guardians now, yeah. Nobody there. Nobody there to team up with me. Oh, there's another one. Oh, you can go in solo. I, d I don't know. You can just... Um, I didn't know you can do that. Oh, look, same ships. They all just started. Oh, it's just the two of us. Just the two of us. Oh, okay. I'm assuming the enemies adjust to the number of people that are in it. High roots value strength over all else. When you and Shaw forced the boat into flee, you weakened her position. She'll be desperate for victory to regain her footing. Well, that desperation makes her a threat in the Cosmodrome and beyond. This is a worthy challenge for you, Guardian. Cass and Maeve gave their final deaths fighting Navota. That can't be for nothing. It won't be. Eh. Okay, fine. Kind of got sandwiched there. Parked it perfectly, though. Steady. I know how those nerves feel. Pack it away. Eyes down the sights. Oh, nice. I love this. <laughs> they just were like going, what's going on in that room? I don't want to be excluded.
fallen raiding party ahead. You don't seem thrilled about Novota's presence. They won't appreciate you. Five signatures in a facility up ahead. Navota is gathering a swarm. We might be walking into a trap. That's the gig. We Ooh. carry the light where no one else can. That was intense. They just kept coming. There was so many of them. Yeah, we got a third, yeah. I'm loading, I'm loading. Still loading. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, the boss fight in this is crazy, I remember that, yeah. I burned out the rest of Devota's hiding spots. She's got nowhere to run. A well-crafted snare. I'm just doing my part. In your hands now, snare. Guardian.
Oh shit, nice timing. Last. There we go, there we go, there we go. Thank you. Where is she? Shit, I don't know where she is. How did I not die? How did I not die?
Yeah, that was it. Uh, I did well not to die so far. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm gonna get a rest. Oh, I got a rest. Okay. I'm coming. Go, that's it. Cass, Maeve. That was intense. I now. love it. Thanks to you. Couldn't have done it without you, Shark. Maybe. Don't sell yourself short. I see a spark in you, Guardian. Make sure you keep it safe. Don't let it get to your head, okay? This is only the beginning of your story. Excellent work. Return to the tower. Um. Oh yeah, Azamin, just hop in if you can. I don't know how that works. Let me see uh, who did the most damage here. Um, kills, damage, well I can't give myself orbs created, so who is the second best here? Rabbit Tail, where's Rabbit Tail? There. So apparently you should always give commendations. The Vota is no more. And you have continued to impress us with your ongoing successes, Guardian. With I love the takedown. Thank you for telling me about the G, the takedown. We have come to a understanding of the truth. The amount of things I have survived because the bigger the champions what we first were low on health and I couldn't have like killed the light, them, but I was able to take them down. It is a powerful tool of amazing. paracausal energy. Despite my earlier misgivings, we have learned how to harness it to help humanity. Just as our enemies have found ways to wield the light against us. What we once thought was the darkness, the vile entity responsible amazing. for our great collapse, is now known to us as Jesus. the Witness. For the first time in hundreds of years, the Traveler left the last city to directly confront it in Earth's orbit. And the Vanguard needs you now more than ever. Come see me for some important assignments, Guardian. Did we complete now Guardian Rises? Because I think once we complete Guardian Rises, we're gonna go with Sh we're gonna go for Shadow Keep. I want to go through that story as well. So let's see how we're looking with our quests. Yeah, I think Rise of the Guardian is done. And I did all the bounties. I'm amazing. Wake up, finish critical wounded combatants. Oh, nice. We have a new move. Got some legendary charts. Shards. Catalyst quest boost alpha doubles objective exp what is this? Why is this shiny? Oh, we got some dust things. Okay. Okay. 
Automatically consumed when opening season of Defiance Battlegrounds chests to unlock bonus rewards. Defiant keys are found by completing activities throughout the system. Okay. So now we're finished with New Light. Well, we're not finished with New Light, but... Oh, we should get, do, should we not get that exotic weapon now? Oh, step five or seven? No, it's it's this one still. Yeah, okay. So, new light is something we should finish first, I guess. Is it? Okay. What is this? Why am I following this? I don't know. Oh, this is the Postmaster. That's like in World of Warcraft, yeah. So certain Checking items that out. I picked up, I never... Oh, I got a legendary Engram. Received. And a sniper rifle. Okay, so let's have a look. Oh, I got a few guns here, actually. Holy shit. Ooh, I got a nice uh, grenade launcher. Oh, we can have a grenade launcher as a um, secondary. That's interesting. This is so nice. I, I do like this one though. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, this one just looks more badass. I, I don't know why this one is legendary and this one is, is not. Like this is so much more badass, I'm sorry. It just is. There we go, nice. We did get that, yeah? Ten percent. I'm a ten percent run. Total medallion score zero. Top fire team score zero. I don't know what ranking is. You are in the top ten percent of scoring for all players during twenty twenty two guardian spins. Nice. I'm someone. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about emotes. Goodbye. Eververse has the goods. Oh shit. Okay, so I guess this is the micro store thing. Fenchurch, there's a lot of fantastic things. Is there any free ones? I tend to believe him. No. Oh, hey. I can interact? Hang on a second. 9.8. Interact, F1. Oh, now I can actually see your uh, physical stuff. expressions won't win a fight, but they feel good. And feeling good is better than not. Oh no, that's my gear. Why did it say F1 to interact? So, eh, I'm confused. Press G. And then what you want to receive. Ah, here we go. I have to do it quicker. Oh, that's nice. Boot fire team member. So we have to talk to our leader friend over here. Who are you? Crucible. Yeah, we're not gonna do crucibles yet. Oh, he looks awesome. Let's begin. Oh, next season starts next week. Nice. So we're going to start the... So, yeah, we can actually stream the start of the new season then because I'm assuming um, it's the default power every season higher than the previous one. So, like, the highest power people could get this season was 1850 or something, or was it 1890? 
with with all the engrams, whatever they're called, paragons, uh, whatever these things are that you can use to get the the top top. So how does it work? The next season it starts at nineteen hundred, or does it just reset everybody back to sixteen hundred? Your light has grown, Guardian. It's time for you to put it to the test. Very good. But I know I'm gonna have Volt Volatile. But don't let it go to waste. Back to the front, Guardian. The shadows encroach all around us, Guardian. But our Next season is still, uh, is still 1810. Okay. So let me see what is my quest now because um, now I'm getting a bit lost. This is the problem here. Um, there is nothing in the speaker's journals to explain what happened. So the yellow is Lightfall. This is the base game, I guess. Complete any Vanguard bounties provided by Savala. Daily bounties give more progression, more progress. So now we can actually start. Um, Shadow Keep, I guess. And where's the exotic here that you're talking about? Is that it? Exotic Engram? An Engram was present, outcome contains an exotic if any of the possible little words were meant to be collected. Yes, Zavala. Okay, so we have to get to level 25. Holy shit. We'll get a bow as well. Um, there should be right at one. Oh yeah, the bow. I deleted that. <laughs> um, again, I don't have a clue. Like so, my other character that I t play tested it with. Is that what you do? Dance? No, nope, doesn't work. Look at all your emotes. <laughs> um, okay, I think I'm... Yeah, so now I think the next thing I would do is... Um, okay, hand all that in first, I guess. Is that it? Are we done? This is okay. So if we do um, complete one that I don't want to do these things. Um, Sivala informed you that Ikora Ray has made progress. So where is our other quest that we get the air plus from here? Five seven defeat combatants and complete public events in the discovered um, destination in the U. Which is where's Neo Muna? Is it here? Yeah, I'm gonna do this next. Not right now, though. But I'm gonna do this next, and that will start the. Um, Shadow thing. Um, oh, guided game calls you out. Fire team six. Legendary I'm gear. To look at the news these days. What? Head of heresy. Oh, that goes back to the icons you guys were saying. So if I go here, 
to shadow keep oh no yeah these icons there whatever that's not what I thought okay then I don't know emotes are the arrow keys under the home insert yeah okay point chance <laughs> Well, I'm a robot, so doing the robot makes sense. And then sit down. Okay. It must have been hundreds of years ago. <laughs> I like that I'm a robot that dances as a robot. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's awesome. I love the little head movement there on the shoulders. Anyway, I'm going to leave the stream here. So yeah, that was a bit unexpected. We might do another one next week. I'm, I'm going to continue uh, doing random things uh, between streams, but I'm not going to start Shadow Keep until we are on the next stream. So that way we, uh, you know, go through the campaigns together. You know, Shadow Keep is first. And then um, after that, it's beyond light. I'm assuming I click on all these big flags on the right planets and start the campaigns. So yeah, thank you so much um, for this. Um, we finished State of Decay 1 now uh, as well. So um, yeah, Destiny 2, we might continue that. Um, not as soon as I said, I play more by myself, but we're definitely gonna continue with Far Cry and <laughs> Frozen with uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 for now. And um, of course, uh, state of decay and seven days to die so thank you very much uh, have a good night and stay safe bye bye